Well, it is uh, Monday, February 14th, uh, 2022. Um, uh, I debated over uh, whether to make a recording on this particular day um, because I, I, I just like a, a culturally or conditionally uh, uh, sanctioned um, manufactured holiday uh, I mean every day any day is a good day for you know whatever uh, needs to be done or said or felt or um, don't need uh, it to be mass sanctioned mass marketed to uh, express I mean I know people don't actually think that but, you know it's like it just seemed it maybe used to have more significance now it's just kind of watered down and uh, it's just about the products the product placement and the sales I mean, that's how it seems I mean the actual romantic quality to it mm, seems a little bit uh, I don't know stretched <sighs> so anyway but it is something that a lot of people pay attention to um, and I guess I just don't pay attention to it because uh, I don't really have a reason to. Um, I like to play at it, pretend at it, make believe at it, because I like the idea, but uh, then here I am again, um, which is okay. It's what I'm used to. doesn't mean that I, it, I like it, but it's what I'm used to. Um, and I don't know how to do anything different or be anything else. Um, I try, but I don't succeed you know, as far as communication and, you know, social stuff. And it's like, I am, and I was thinking about it before I even started it, like, what do I even talk about? Well, um, the recurring theme is about um, habilitation. It's like, you know, I, I create my own prisons, um, and it's like I cannot really be rehabilitated into society because I was never habilitated into society to begin with. I was always an outsider. I never really fit within the structure of uh, the norm, and uh, even though I, I tried. I thought that I could because I didn't know that I didn't know any better. I didn't know that I was facing um, difficulties. I just felt them and uh, just assumed that that's what everybody else was dealing with and that they just somehow did things anyway. It's like, and I was just bad at it or something. I don't know. And it's like, whoa, well, okay. So that's why. So it's a, it doesn't help me do anything about it, but now I realize that there's a reason for it. So I don't I don't have to, you know, be upset by all the things that I just have difficulty with. So and as far as like social cues and signals and uh, what does that mean? And what am I supposed to get out of it? It's like, am I supposed to be reading things into it, or am I supposed to not? Am I reading the wrong things, or seeing things that are there that aren't there, or not seeing things that are there but I just don't notice because I'm not, I'm not uh, developed or sensory, whatever the words are. Um, and then also with uh, not. What's the word? Oh well, I forget. 
but uh, relationships not being a priority, basically. Um, they sound interesting. Um, I think I might like to try, because um, it seems like other people seem to enjoy it and don't spend as much time alone as what I do, which I don't mind. Um, it's just, you know, I d it does get lonely from time to time, and it's no one's job to keep me company, things like that. I'm emotionally responsible for myself, and I've been that way for years and years and years and years and years and years. And years. But um, I'm definitely getting um, more and more um, isolated and unrelatable um, how I interact with other people and it comes off as I think is phony and uh, fake how I attempt to interact with people because I'm interacting with them how I think how I think other people interact with each other and it's always just me guessing and that comes off as not right and I think people don't know exactly what it is that they're detecting but it comes off as, yeah, unnatural, and uh, they've got it right. It is very unnatural, and it's only because I, I, I don't know how people are, and uh, all attempts to, you know, try to be normal or mm, be less creepy uh, do not succeed. Um, so it's like I'm just usually just better off just leaving people alone because I, I will hurt them um, emotionally and psychologically in some way um, by them um, coming to be aware that there are people like me out there um, the invisible people the untouchable people the unrelatable people that uh, and it just people are get upset that other people exist that are so unadjusted um, to the societal pressures and conventions of existence that the planet is not suitable for their sensitivities and it's like they want to help and they want to try to bring you in to the fold somehow and it's like no that's not going to that's already thank you um i don't know so it's, it's just like it's i guess it's just one of those things where it's, a, it's an impasse where i no matter how much i want to kind of be a part of the world it's it's the world that exists is not conducive uh, for my being a part of it. I cannot, it's oil and water. I, it's just polar. I just have a polarity that just uh, does not mix. <sighs> I mean, I can, I can force it for a while, but exhaustion tears me away. So. You know, opposite poles. You know, I can hold, you know, two poles of a magnet together, you know, but they naturally will want to propel apart. As soon as force is not applied, they will, you know. So, something like that. I'm trying to make an analogy, it's a, you know. So, and as far as Valentine's Day, you know, that whole thing, it's like, I don't know. I think I did some good writing yesterday, and I produced a video yesterday, and um, that's about really all I had. Um, and then I saw like uh, some other things, and it's like, oh, <sighs> that sucks. I don't know how you deal with that. That's, uh, I guess, hide. Um, because, you know, and that, that gets into the emotional terrorism kind of thing, and emotional bullying, and emotional responsibility that it's like this other person is, uh, trying to force, um, you to, um, be responsible for them, and if you don't, 
and it's your fault if something happens to them. And it's like, no, no. Unless you're claiming responsibility for them, what happens to them is their responsibility. How did, and what, I guess there's more stuff going on than I know about, but uh, how did it come to pass where all of a sudden they think that you are um, responsible for their emotional well-being and stability? Um, unless promises were made and pacts were made and it's like I'll be there for you always till the end of time um, sort of statements and uh, I'm here for you and you know it's like because this person um, like me is uh, not entirely um, there and they have difficulties and struggles which I'm sure um, are very real, and uh, but they seem largely incapable of uh, processing and taking responsibility for themselves, and uh, they're putting it on other people to try to get them to do what they want um, by emotional hijacking. Um, and then there's that gaslighting um, to you know twist reality to contort and uh, corrupt to get what they want at any cost so it's very dangerous i think and yeah i don't know how you handle that because there's no way to you know confronting confronting just i don't see how that's going to lead to anything good um constructively um, um you know, patience and tolerance and kindness only go so far. Um, this person um, doesn't seem to be going away. Um, they don't seem to respect or acknowledge or understand boundaries or privacy, um, much like myself. I have difficulty with that. I like to think I am teachable. But, and it's like, as far as like my case, it's like, I should have been able to have been let go a while ago. It's like I tried to go on my own, but then thought that was wrong, and I came back, and I was let to come back. And I've just been minding my own business and trying to not mind yours. It seems like I am not wanted. Or something. I have no idea. I really have no idea what's going on. Or and I and I don't think that I'm supposed to or wanted to know what's going on, which leaves me feeling very unincluded, um, uninvited, unwanted, um, and I should go away. And that that's not meant to be like an attack. That's just meant to say how it is I feel. And I have a right to feel how it is I feel just like anyone else does. There's no right or wrong. I'm, you know, I'm just saying, that's how it feels, because I don't have any information. So I come up with all sorts of scenarios just based on nothing. So it has very little to do with reality. That's kind of not good as far as uh, mental health goes. Uh, but it's no one's fault. It's, it's mine. It's always mine as far as I'm, um, what I'm putting myself through. It's like I can walk away at any time. I do have that freedom. I'm choosing not to. And I think everything that I put myself through, I think is, is unknown, and unwanted, and not intentional, and just not by design. It's uh, just me. It's just me. My imagination. My creativity. Or... Uh, lack of creativity to be able to um, find the truth of the narrative of what is real or unreal. So, well, I work on it. I'm trying to <sighs> scout it out. And I'm getting some interesting material out of it. Um, different thoughts, different patterns. Um, but this other person, um, 
they seem convinced that there's only one thing to do, and uh, that is to give them what they want. And maybe that's not the truth. Maybe that's not the case. I don't know this person. I've never spoken to them or dealt with them, but I, I think they're a, a, a bit. Uh, they might be a bit dangerous to themselves. And it's. I feel good knowing that uh, you are safe and far away, <sighs> detached from uh, all this nonsense. Insane from me. You know, it's like I am probably not exactly. Mm, I mean, in reality, I'm a pretty okay guy, I guess, but uh, I can be a little bit uh, mm, unhinged, deranged. I would like to say passionate, but uh, it might come across different in real life. I don't know how it looks like because I'm not around myself. I just am myself. So I don't know what it looks like from, from out on the outside. And I'm never around people um, except for, you know, just in public. So it's like I don't know how I am in private. I'd imagine I'm very quiet. But I don't know. I haven't been in a relationship, in a uh, aromantic or romantic relationship, in a long time. A long time. <laughs> so, I don't know what the rules are, and, uh, and I, I just, I, so, I think I've said everything uh, at some point. But you know, how much needs to be reiterated at any given time to reestablish um, and reinforce current thoughts? And all of this is not wanted anyway. Um, none of this is going according to plan or script. And um, you weren't looking for anybody. Um, you weren't looking. Um, you did not intend to meet anybody. I don't think. Um, you were just looking for somebody to talk to. You were just lonely. Um, you weren't looking for anybody to want to want to get to know you. You were looking for single-serving friends. Um, the only problem is people are real, and uh, yeah, people are strange. You never know who you're going to meet, and uh, I, I I have to learn that too. Um, and to be sensitive and uh, acknowledging of uh, people on the other side. Um, I don't meet that very many people, and I don't interact with even, I interact with even fewer um, in order to uh, protect other people from my psychology. I don't want to attract attention. Because I just don't have the energy for it. And uh, it seems like something about me is, like you, um, interesting and gets noticed. People don't know exactly what they are and what they notice, but it can't be hidden. <clears throat> and they want to follow it. So. It's easier to stay in shadows, easier to stay hidden. That way you don't have to worry about uh, being too attractive and uh, shining too brightly and attracting followers. It's a nice thought, but they need stuff, they want stuff, they, they want time, and it just gets annoying. So, it's easier for me to be by myself. That way, it's just like, I don't have to worry about it, it's less confusing. So, anyway, I guess that's all I got. Um, this, some of this might have sounded uh, confrontational, or, but uh, I'm just kind of tired. Um, it's been a long day. We had construction in the house today, again, and so I 
didn't get much of a sleep. And, uh, yeah. And then uh, still the uncertainty principles. Um, I have no idea what's going on, um, how what is felt about me or thought about me. I, for all I know, I'm just a villain and uh, despised and hated and just merely being tolerated until there's a, um, a, a way for me to be gotten rid of, disposed of, um, or I just, you know, get tired and disappear, which might be what is wanted, but I am stubborn and just not going away like I might be supposed to, but I don't get it, so I don't. So, or they're just angry at me, you're just angry at me, or you're scared of me, or intimidated, or I don't know. We haven't talked. I've never talked to you. We have never met. So this is just me talking to myself. And uh, just kind of, yeah, going nowhere, um, not solving a damn thing. And uh, kind of depressing, depressing the hell out of myself. So this is not a, this is not a, a happy video at all. <laughs> and it's definitely not a romantic video or an aromantic video. Um, that's hardly even friendly. Um, so it's like, will this go up? Really? Yeah, probably. Because no one watches these anyway, and this is just a, a record for the archive of what I was thinking and how I was feeling at the time, based on all the information that I don't have in my entire history of um, life and perception of the reality in which I find myself in dealing with the rest of human, the human race and the types of personalities that I have uh, come across and how I've interacted and just been baffled by all the, all the things that don't make sense. And it's like, I don't mean to be mean, but uh, I mean, I just don't know what I'm doing, I guess. And it's like, that is a danger. Um, you know, it's like my motives might be whatever they are. But, uh, ah, I don't know. I've kind of talked myself in a circle. And now I'm just getting myself confused. So, I guess I should go... And I've probably said some stuff that I didn't want to. And uh, maybe they mean stuff that I don't want them to mean. Or I, I perceive that they could be taken the wrong way. And uh, taken as hurtful or, you know, vindictive. I don't mean anything like that. I'm just... I'm just how it is I am. I just am how it is the way I am. And, I'm kind of waiting and not going to be shocked when I just see that little icon just disappear one day. It's like, okay, she's gone. It won't be unexpected. So it's not like they need, or you need, um, permission to go. I just kind of expect you to go. And, uh, you know, other than, that, other than that, it's like, I don't want you to have to feel like you have to um, fake your own death to go away. You know, slowly disintegrating and like, oh, delete that page, delete that page, wipe out Facebook, um, take down Instagram. It's like, you can just block me or unfriend me. That works too. I'm not that important. I know that. I know that any of the stuff, it was just stuff that I was wanting to have been dealt with before anyway. But it was just like, it seems like any time I was like touching anything, it's like, oh, delete it. It's like, oh, shit, we'll stop touching things. That's my perspective on it. 
So, anyway, this is a long video, and uh, this is a very personal video, and I really hope that no one watches it. Um, as it probably a lot of it sounds bad, and it's just from lack of information, lack of communication, lack of conversation, lack of coordination. Um, all of which can be easily solved, but do not get solved. And why? I don't know. I, I can only assume that it doesn't want to get solved, because it, there is no want for any relationship other than this uh, phantom um, imaginary uh, one. And it's like, well, that's not good enough for me. I want different. And maybe this one would go somewhere else in a couple years, decades time. But uh, for me, as far as like what I'm looking for out of life and in my life, um, yeah, I'm looking for something different, something with more connectivity, something with more rapport. Um, communication and uh, yeah, collaboration, cooperation, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, I just don't know how to go about doing that, or meeting people that are you know complementary to me that want the same thing. I guess I have to get busy, you know, online meeting people, but that's like, oh, it's like. That's tough for me. And it's like meeting people online. Ooh, that's scary. But uh, I'll figure it out. I don't know. So anyway, no one should watch this video. And I don't think that they will. So I have nothing to worry about. Especially these longer ones. Who's going to sit there and listen to me? Uh, what a psycho. Anyway, that's all I got. <sighs> Let's just call this, this is a, a fiction, um, this is a character I'm playing for something I'm, re I'm rehearsing. This is just, this is just a character act. This is all, uh, I've got a script and, um, yeah, so none of this is based in reality. I'm talking about, um, people, places, things, and situations that do not exist, um, so, none of this is based on the likenesses of anyone, uh, real or imagined. So, uh, it's all theoretical, hypothetical, yeah, rhetorical. So, don't mind me.